broken age. and Bella. She's a fella and Bella's a she. Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Face the cupcakes. <sighs> Valoria Beast Ender Tartines. The Ender of Beasts and Tartines. Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! It's the Maiden's Feast, y'all. Skin is so much darker than yours. We're and your dad's a little whiter. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do the after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. <sighs> Grandpa. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't what? want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, oh a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. <laughs> don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do. A knife but in your the mom back. brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. It is my special you know where day. Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now. Rocky. Lavina? What is it, girl? Lavina. Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullet, and had us out the door already. Oh. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in Maiden training? How 
How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. Six times 14? What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. <laughs> I mean, look at me! <laughs> How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Meh. Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. The Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. Well, it's I do. forbidden, but maybe we must. you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. In his wa 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 Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beat me. Oh. Mob Chathra attacks other towns? Of course! Maryloft just had their Maiden's Feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. <sighs> They're Maryloft. a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay, I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. So why don't we just fight Mob Chakra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the maiden's feast. And if you how? Destroy the feast. Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Oh, I'd better Mog Chathra is night. evil. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Shamed, I tell you. Nope, not there. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna fight it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> mumbly grumbly mumbly. One of my mom's special dish towels. And it's still dry. Dry as a towel. Don't touch the red one. Mom made those just for me. You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six. That explains a lot. If there was a day to splurge, it's today. Splurge away. Eat it. I can't put it back. I touched it. Yeah, gross. I eat still the eat cupcake. it, though. Where would I... If there was a day to splurge, it's today. Eat. I'm too nervous to eat. You're not nervous. Mom? I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. Hmm. Hmm. Grandpa. Grandpa beast ender? <laughs> beast ender. Do you know where the knife is? Do you know where mom's knife is? <clears throat> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. Brahma? <laughs> it's like an old Germany name. Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. Beast it's enders. Travesty, Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed. Pushed for appeasement. 
So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, yes. I better go find that knife. <laughs> Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. You said too much there, Grandpa. I question my elders. Grandpa, have a bite of this cupcake. For me? For you. For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. Hum, 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 hum. Oops. There goes my cupcake. Oh, where is that darn knife? Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. Hmm. Ah, uh, why not? Lavina? What is it, girl? So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that. Cause I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Shamed! If there was a day to splurge, it's today. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Would you need to walk? For me? Split it with you? Deal. You knife stealing grandpa? On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. You better not say anything. Grandpa Beastender? Yeah. Well, I'd better go. Don't want to let people down. You'd only let me down if you didn't put up a fight. Double fine adventure. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I I'm gonna cut the cake. cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time, honey? Why don't we just kill Mom Chothra? Kill the beast. <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. <laughs> Majestic to behold. Awe inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mom Chopra is more than that. Merciful and generous. Mog Chopper keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chopper, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. Show him what you're made of, Bella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. Make myself the center of any line. Center of math, maybe. No more ugliness, girls. Mark Chopra responds to beauty above all.
house and shine, son. You better get out. I'm almost off duty. Your mom's gonna be here soon, and you know how she is. Oops. Here she comes. Have a great day, Shane. There's my little angel. Oh, computer. Snooze. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Oh, I hope no bad tinkle fairies came and wet your bed during the night. Oh, computer. Off. Come on and get up, Shay. Lots of important adventures to go on today. Get up now, Mr. Man, or I'll turn on the mean sound. Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> Such a mean sound. <laughs> Computer? Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Chocolate rockets? Yikes, no way. Yikes, no way. Simmons. I think I'd rather eat a bug. I think I'd rather eat a bug. Honey holograms. No thanks, computer. Nebulumps? Yuck. You know I hate that. Soylent dreams. <sighs> no, not in that kind of mood today. Crispy bunches of space. Man, that sounds horrible. Brain blasters? Ugh, take that away. Strawberry comet trails. <laughs> Please, don't take this personally, but no thanks. Whole green nutrient paste? Nope. Are you kidding? Gross. You think lunch? Mm, yeah. Yuck. Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? I think I'm allergic to that, aren't I? Splarg? I want some splarg. I eat splarg for breakfast. This game is gonna be free splarg. in a couple of days. Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splarg! I bought it on day one, though. This is the double fine adventure. Good morning, Commander Shay. Yes! You won't be sorry, Commander. Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. Now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh oh. Uh, Commander? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. We are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galactica. Well, it's Second, dangerous. There's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. Uh oh. We also received a Mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh-oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are you doing? Well, uh, we definitely have to, uh... 
defend the friendship circle. We need to help those avalanche victims. Lame. PlayStation 4, very lame. There's this weird bug. This is the massive avalanche? It's worse than it looks! Really? How? It's an ice cream avalanche! Yay! That's not worse. Certainly looks worse. Hey, check this out. Why not check out us avalanche victims over here instead? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. Don't worry, I'll figure out how to get you out. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. We need a hero. Yarg. Delicious. Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. We have to defend the friendship circle. We have to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. I'm aboard the distressed vessel, Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. Fake. What happened here? From an enemy vessel? Or an alien creature? Or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? Yes. Yes. You silly gooses. You're going to love this dinner pill. Deep fried nutrition paste. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? <laughs> Fattening avalanche, I guess. <laughs> Better suit up. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Space Walker. Honestly, this company is one of the only companies that actually deserves okay. to get your money. The ship. The foreign body must be very close by. I bought Grim Fandango from them as well. Mr. Tim Schafer has been making awesome games for years now. And Double Fine is just uh, a company that deserves to, to organic in nature. keep something going. Me, deserves to keep making money. Stick my face right into it. Get off! 
instead of buying the next Assassin's Creed whenever it comes out, just buy something from these people. <laughs> Time for the hero to close his little hero eyes. Sleepy hero. Yeah, that's under his space hours. blanket. His mom is the sun and his dad is the moon. Man, that's that's backwards. the story of how you got here. Hey, were you even listening to me? I've got a feeling this is gonna be a great day. Grandiose. Chocolate rocket. Yikes. Yikes. No way. Ugh. Hmm. Why not? Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? No, you may not. What mission should we go on next? Smart spoons are killing people. Left and right. Let's catch that runaway train. Aye, aye, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. Yeah, how would you? What's that, son? Did you say wake up the bridge man? That's such a good idea. I don't know how long I can hold on to this. I don't think I should open that here. If only there were a horizon. I think I should open it first. You can let go now. I got this. I'm not letting go until that bridge is... Wake up, bridge man! Just brown. Should we go on next, sweetie? Oh, I gotta get out of this routine. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Fattening avalanche, I guess. Well, good. You're so skinny. Plotting a course for Planet Galactica. Yeah, it's really a, a modern gem. There was another game. ice cream It's avalanche. pretty unique. Take this spoon and dig yourselves out. We don't know how to use it. Show us, please, hero! <laughs> I can't wait to be in your mouth again. Really? Yay! Did he say that? Man, this guy really likes ice cream. Tons of ice cream. You're going to love this dinner pill. Leftovers medley. Yummy. Leftovers medley. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. Here we go again. I could use a spacewalk, I guess. Okay. Watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right.
Open up. But this Open time, up. take it easy. from the same stuff anyway. Mm, that bite was yummy. Elijah Wood, what ladies and gentlemen. Next, I'd rather jump off a cliff than do this again. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you choose that one. You choose that one. That's a Simpsons reference. Uh oh. Wake up, bridge man. We're safe. Back to sleep, bridge man. Wake up, bridge man. We're safe. Back to sleep, bridge man. Wake up, bridge man. We're safe. Back to sleep. I don't know. When you're ready for real danger, come see me. But tell no one. Do you understand? Okay. But no one. Hey, wait! What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might have a delayed fracture. That can happen. A delayed fracture, no, really? It can't. All missions are cancelled. I love you. <sighs> what is love? <laughs> Fake story. I can do whatever? A world of possibilities. It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. Grr. <laughs> Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut. 
with these weird little screws. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. It works! Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Yeah, right. But we have those. It's a tank of compressed air. It looks like an inflatable raft. Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa! It looks like a blow-up doll of me. Creepy. It really looks like you. Creepy. I'm going to call him Little Lazy Me. Can't sleep. On a mission. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. Warden Mom Pewter. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, little hero. Man, computers are stupid. Never seen this part of the ship before. You came because you are done with children's games. <laughs> yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. Forces of tyranny? But... Yes. We... We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. Hmm. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Don't we have much time? Because I'm about to manual save and quit.
to be continued, I'm sure.